guys, Queen Nija. Um, quick thing before we start. So I have to make a little correction real quick. Okay, so today, I'm going to explain this as quickly as I can. So today, I was like, okay, I'm going to write a watch episodes 10 and 11 of season 3 of Ben Dream. And I was thinking, I was like, yeah, I've seen 9 or 11, really. And then I figured out, I went online because I went to one of the places that I get my sources from and everything. Um, last week when 8 came out. And typically how sometimes we either get one to two episodes and such. I only watched eight. I assumed that nine was going to come out today. Well, they accidentally didn't tell me anything. And nine came out Wednesday afternoon, I believe. So I already did an intro and everything for 10. So I don't know if I'm going to cut it or if I'll leave it. I'm going to do that after I watch 11. But um, I, I like... Essentially, I already know now, like, I don't know much about the argument that's happening in this episode, so I'm glad that I'm going to be able to watch this episode, but just now knowing the things that I watched at 10, I mean, I'm just like, because I was sitting here confused, I was like, okay, I don't know, y'all had an argument? And I was like, okay, after I finished the episode, I was like, wait, let me go check, and then that's when I realized I hadn't seen 9, and I was just like, okay. <clears throat> but, yeah, other than that, let's go ahead and watch episode 9. To see the argument and what all happened leading up into 10 and 11. But, alright, let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. But I'm still, okay, I'm going to say this, like, from watching 10, it had to be, and I'm uh, until we find out the real source of the problem between this one and 11, I'm still going to say she's upset with her mom and her dad because of the fact that she's not, her parents aren't there for Chuchi's birthday, and maybe that's the reason why she lashed out on Paleo. Mm-hmm, because it's seven, that's her birthday. <laughs> well, you two, you could have gone with them. You decided to be a, just mm, a word that I can't really say and be above everyone and be like, no, I don't want to go. I, you could have gone. But see, the biggest thing is you got to remember because <clears throat> she's not, she's a kid. So she has the right to lash out whenever she wants to. But I mean, it, this is a group of four teenagers and one child, but she assumes that like, she's very mature for her age. And I do like that about Tutu, but because it's really more of the way she was raised and the way her parents raised her. And then because of the fact that her parents were looking somewhere else. She had to be her own guardian and did everything on her own. I don't know. This is a, you know, even though I haven't seen 11 yet and I'm about to finish this episode, 10 was a really emotional episode, really for her. I think, you know, that made me synthesize with her a little bit more because, like, this girl honestly felt depressed as hell. And I'm just like, Oh my god, and you just feel bad for her. Even though, like, I ain't see her yell at Palio yet, but I think maybe when she yells at Palio, I'll probably have, like, a different mindset, and then I'll understand why I was the way I was getting into 10. But it happened.
Oh, thank God I got that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> One of the many reasons why I love it so very much. <laughs> You and Yui would be the best of friends. <laughs> so, at least they tried. Mm -hmm. Yeah, doesn't that seem a little too much for you guys? It's a lot of stuff on their schedule. Oh, 
I use like a problem on me. I love that. Oh my god. <laughs> Please ride the speed limit though. <laughs> So that's the reason you got angry with her. I mean, that makes sense. But you can see it's upsetting her a lot. It all makes sense now. That's 
good. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, right now. <laughs> Her birthday. <laughs> So precious, I love her so much, my bunny baby. <laughs> oh. Yep, but ooh, it's gonna be complicated. What's wrong? Seriously? Oh. Now it's another reason why. Of course. <laughs> But hold, wait, 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 that's a little messed up, though. <laughs> to her? No.
That's right. Not with the way you guys are right now. Okay, so now after finally being able to watch this episode and seeing the ish and time, I got mixed feelings. Like, I understand now why King left. I'm on King's side because she had a right to leave because she's upset. Everybody's upset and feeling a certain type of way about this. I mean, but you two had no right. To yell at Palio like that. I mean, my God. To even say that to Palio, I mean, it makes sense of why she's like that. And in the end, she, she's the only one who can fix it. Not only everybody else, but fondly at the end of the mother of the day. Choo choo. It now makes sense. This drama that's going on between them leads back to her and that's why I said what I said in episode 10 and it's not to be mean it's to be you're looking at it as, as a person who's a fly on the wall watching this situation go on with these five girls but they're also the only ones who can be able to solve it I do like the fact that in episode 10 the girls um pop and party came to somewhat of their defense each one was able to talk to them really it was only um Ote and Kasumi in a way uh, talking to both um Lair and Rock, but still. I mean, they have, she has her reasons of why she lashed out and everything. It just all made sense. This was an episode, a three parter episode that literally just, oof. oh my god, oof. And then Lair coming in to, you know, talk to Choo Choo in the following episode and sympathize with her and to just say, you know what, come on, you know. You're, you're not an adult. You're still a kid at the end of the day. So, you know, instead of you still being the leader. Because to me, there are times where officially seeing their story. Yes, Chutu is the producer of this. But sometimes she doesn't feel like the leader of it. To me, that leader role sometimes goes to layer. Each There's times where each girl seems like a leader and their leader being a leadership in their own way. But to me, like, number one, I can always see layer as the biggest leader. Even though I think for like um, different bands, it, it just depends. Because I don't even remember. I think Mari is Africa, I believe. Um, but the fact is that out of everyone, because of the fact is is that King and um, Locke went to go see Pelio, and Lair was the only one who there who was there. And after having a talk with Ote, she was the only one who was going to be able to say, "Okay, let me be the right person to put you two in the right direction." And force her to go see Paleo and have a conversation with her. And like I said in episode 10, um, going into episode 11, I do hope that these two can put aside their differences. Same thing with all of them. Come back together, be able to talk everything out, and to take that first step once again as a band together to not only defeat my favorite band, but to just be to better themselves because they need to come together. But yeah. 
go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys not only for episode 10, but episode 11. <laughs> Let me get started with episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go. Are we gonna? Okay. 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 There's got to be a reason why they're putting out two episodes, I guess, tonight. It has to be like a two-parter episode with this instead of leaving it on a cliffhanger, maybe, essentially. But I get the fact is why they wanted to show this part first, but still... You, because it's already in the beginning. Something happened, so I'm guessing that's gonna quit. Something. Why would King quit, though? I mean, it, it had to be something about you, too. Because, you know what? And I'm not gonna say this to be mean. I'm just saying this to be truthful, because sometimes, usually, the drama is about the leader, and that would make the most sense. So, it, maybe Tutu said something to King that she didn't like, and she was just like, you know, fuck it, I'm just done. And I want to leave. If only Akko knew. Back up, Cody.
Okay. Yeah, but the thing is, the question, the thing that we need to know is, what led to the argument? Because we always have the right things to say. <laughs> okay, but are you going to talk to King first or the rest of the girls? My goodness. Little puppy. Cody, hush. No, you just leave without saying anything. Please. I get that. Here, puppy, because you want my arm.
Jesus Christ, oh my God. You haven't eaten? Oh, oh my God. Damn, they really went on with that. She's not gonna come, nor is she gonna answer your phone call. Come on, if you just leave, you're not going to get anything solved. Okay. Are you guys going to go find Kaleo? He wanted to be with your parents, but during the set, you lashed out at the girls, and so, especially Polly. Thank you. 
Ilu. Huh? Yeah, you need to come together and just talk it out. You can still apologize to her. You know you didn't mean to. Okay, here's the question. How are all three of you going to get on that motorcycle, though? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, I mean, the motorcycle. <laughs> if you're in a car. <laughs> So in a way, I was right. In the end, it all came back to 2-2. Two, two. I do really feel bad for Paleo, and I do hope in this second episode that I'm going to watch in a couple of minutes that both 2-2 two, two and Paleo are able to talk it out. I mean, to see Paleo in her regular uniform with her regular hair just looking like a normal person, like, it feels weird. Like, you you always see her with her black and white hair or her blue and pink hair and how happy she is all the time. 
but just to see her with regular old black hair, glass, and I think she had glasses on, um, and her uniform, she just looked normal and different, and it's like, you wouldn't expect that to be her, but I don't know, I just need these two, plus this band, to get the closure that they need to come together as a group and apologize and try to work it out. I mean, it happens to, like, every single person in the music industry who's in a group together because eventually there are going to be points in time where one minute you're friends and the next minute you're arguing over something that to you may seem important but then later on it's like oh hey why were we fighting over something so idiotic and stupid i just think because of the fact is tutu didn't have her mom and possibly even her dad with her around her birthday she felt a little upset and angry and she just used it all, all on them. <laughs> and she looks so cute. Oh my god, no, oh my god. <laughs> my this kid's like, uh, the shippers, the freaking ship of Chitu and Palio. I can't. I just love them both so much. And they, ever since season two, they've always been like this. So to see them not around each other, it's just, the, the dynamic of it is changed. It's like a divorce for them, really, with this group. And it's like, well, damn, like, should I be with mom or should I be with dad? And so the fact is that both um, Locke and King are going first to go talk to her and then having Lair and um, Tutu eventually come as well. But, like, I mean, the biggest thing was, you know, halfway through this episode and they're doing a performance and Palio isn't, isn't there. And so you know people in the audience were like, you know, what the hell is going on? But no, let's just keep going because, you know, it's a show and it's like that. Maybe they'll explain if they want to, you know, because, I mean, typically as fans, you can ask the band whatever questions you have, but sometimes usually in a band, especially if there's confrontation or problems or whatever, they really don't want the fans to know about it. So I kind of get that, but yeah. Go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode 11. Okay, episode 11 in 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, because of the fact that Chuchu didn't have an address. I mean, I have to say this about the stuff that happened in episode 10. King was right about the fact that Palio knew so much more about the other girls than Chuchu. And that just tells you, not in my opinion, saying that she doesn't care, but it's just because she's so busy with everything else that she didn't take off the time to look up so much information about the girls, their addresses, their phone numbers. Well, they all have their phone numbers, but it's mainly where they live, address, maybe even email address, the school that they go to and such, and how you know, they're able to meet each other and such, but because Tutu is so busy, it seems like that role fell to Palio, and that's why, as I said in 10, they're like this. See, it's like, they, I'm, no, 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 I'm, I'm fucking up. In season two, seeing Tutu and Palio like this, and then to not see them together in the span of two episodes, really three, it, it felt weird. And you're just like, oh my god, like, what the heck is going on? But I just need Choo Choo to get there, to apologize, let these girls cry it out, hug it out, something. Go get something to eat together and just come back together as a man and as a group and be happy again, you know? <laughs> oh my god, King! <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> because! 
Don't do it again. Oh my god. That's like the school she goes to. But who knows if Alia is still there. I mean, come on, it's in the middle of the night. It's okay. Mm -hmm. You just wonder how someone who is very, you know, to herself can be outgoing. She just has a mask on. No, you guys have the wrong person. I mean, the right person. Mm. Jesus Christ, girl. Just normal. Oh, I don't know how to see him. 
And of course she uses them. So pretty, you That's what makes you different. <laughs> yeah. No, she's not. She's still in there. Honestly, I don't know what else you can do. You just need to wait for Lair and Choo Choo to get here. No, they're telling you the truth. Finally. No, please don't run. I gotta say this, these three episodes have literally made all five of these girls so important. It's so pure, like, oh my god. Like, I, ever since season two, I've always loved Polio, but Polio might have to be best girl for me. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. I feel like I'm giving glasses, oh my god. Mm -hmm. And that's what you honestly all needed. Oh, the baby. Happy birthday! Is it weird that I'm kind of getting feels like Kaon? Like the last, not the last episode, the second to last episode, where they all from <laughs> my best girl. Oh my god! So sweet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no.
to get something to eat. <laughs> because they didn't get what it makes sense. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going backwards. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm glad. I'm sorry, you okay? <laughs> Bittersweet. Rosalia. <sighs> so hold that second. Did you get second? But even overall, really, this these three episodes is about RAS, but still, oh my god, like to see Palio's backstory. And the biggest thing I had always wondered, because we're getting closer and closer till these girls are finally gonna be added into this game, because that's next month. Um I do like I, I kept wondering about everyone's backstory except Locke, because we already knew about Locke going into season two. But and a little bit of Lair, because Lair did her backstory a little bit, but it's really more of King, Tutu, and Palio. And now to finally get something on Palio, I'm so freaking glad that they did this. And it was so sweet and sad, and just to know that, like, they found each other all at really good times of sadness or happiness, a really good point in their lives, or a really bad point. And I'm glad that they were all able to find each other, and it was such a good episode, really. All three of these episodes were really good. They'll go and get some freaking popping party. I mean, Jesus Christ, I was thinking maybe at least third. I wasn't expecting second. But what the fact is that they did all that hard work and they're performing at different venues, it makes the most sense. And so I'm happy for them. They deserve it. Everybody did good. See, but then it makes me wonder, um, 
since Blair Green made, like, I think this is their second or third appearance they've made in, from season two to season three, biggest thing is I want to know, is Green's sister going to be able to come and see her? Um, is Morphonica going to make finally an appearance? Because of the fact is we only really have two episodes left before this show is over. And honestly, I, I mean, would I like to see this show get a fourth, I mean, a third season, <laughs> a fourth season? Honestly, yes, I would. But it, at the end of the day, it's up to the people who have created this series if it has enough time. I honestly, if they didn't do a fourth season, I would maybe want to see a movie as well. Because typically, maybe about season three, season four, is that's when some companies are like, hey, give them a movie. Even though they have movies, just them playing as a band and stuff. And I do love that. But it's just like, it would be nice to literally have a movie about them that could continue from where season three ends and then just conclude the story overall and, and maybe, like I said, movie or a final season. It's just really up to them. But I'm so glad that this happened for them. I'm glad that RAS is finally back together as a band. They settled their differences. They talked it out, even though we didn't really truly get to see it. And I would have loved to see it, but I get the fact is, it's a 23-minute episode. You don't really get to see every little detail that you want to see. It just would have been nice because of the fact is, Lara was like, well, you know, we really don't, you know, know that much about each other except, you know, we're a band, but we just don't know anything about our backstories and everything. So maybe it's a time that we all need to come together as a band and get to learn about each other. And I think it would have been really nice to show that. But as I said, if they had maybe deleted scenes for this series then I would suppose that we could possibly see that or when they finally get into the game next month we could see things and honestly I can't wait because it's gonna be so good it's gonna be so refreshing and a big sigh of relief to finally have these girls in this band because I know like so many fans of this series was like uh, freaking piss as heck when um they announced that Morphonica was going to be in the game first, but I'm like, and I'm already loving Morphonica, and I cannot wait until they come to Ian next year, but it's going to be a long time. And I had, every, everywhere I went on Twitter, on Tumblr, or whatever, people were like, RAS fans were freaking outraged and wondering when the girls were coming, and I was like, I think they're coming, they're going to come by the end of the series, so when the show is over, that's officially when they're going to come, but yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 9 to 11 of season 3 of Bang Dream. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Natural Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially not next week because of the fact is um, the last two episodes are coming out on the 7th of April. So it literally means next week there's no Bandity episode. So it's going to feel weird for a couple of weeks. And then the first official week of April on Tuesday the 7th, that is when you guys will see me for the finale. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!